Um, on the on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, you mean certainly, you, certainly, you tap, certainly you tap, certainly you tap very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know, this and that, right wing. They, you know, I mean, it's that that type I of ideological thing. I never really talk about left but or right. But anyways, a lot I of people don't really believe in that. Okay, a lot of people would would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, well, book. Like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but. Like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah. how, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the point of this the point of this question is, I mean, why should why should Canadians trust you with their vote, given you know, not not just the sort of ideological inclination in terms of taking the page of Donald Trump's book, but what are you also, talking about? What page? What page? Can you give okay. me a page? Give me the page. You keep <laughs> in, saying in terms, that. In terms of tur turning things quite dramatically, in terms of of Trudeau and and the left wing and all of this, I mean, you 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 make quite a you know it's it's quite a play that you make on it. So I'm I'm not sure. Wondering. I don't under, I don't know what your question okay. is. Okay, then forget that. Why should Canadians trust you with their vote? Common sense. Okay. Common sense for for a change. We're going to make common sense common in this country. We don't have any common sense in the current government. You know, the guy prints $600 billion, grows our money supply by 32% in three years. That's growing the money eight times faster than the economy. No wonder we have the worst infl inflation in four decades. I'm going to cap spending, cut waste, so that we can balance the budget and bring down inflation and interest rates. You'll want to be able to pay your mortgage again. You want to be able to afford rent. Then you have to vote for Pierre Polyev because I'm the only one with a common sense plan that will bring back the buying power of your paycheck. 